Aaron Murphy for ESPNAmerica.com, and joining me, a familiar face to all around the Horn fans that broadcast on ESPN America, it's Bill Platchke. Thanks for taking the time to join us here on ESPNAmerica.com, Bill. Thanks. We love it. We love broadcasting to Europe. We love all of our fans over there, and they're crazy enough to watch us. We're crazy enough to, to be happy with them. Uh, excellent. Now, we both were saying there off camera that maybe a disappointing game for the Devils in Game 1. What was your impression of the first, first night? Yeah, I thought the Devils were a little bit overwhelmed. I thought the Kings came out there and punched him in the mouth a little bit and uh, I think that you know I think the Kings are a better team I think to me they're a better team clearly they're a better team the Devils have got to win tonight or this thing's not going to last very long. Keys tonight again we were talking maybe Ilya Kovalchuk didn't have a great game I mean a, a Russian sniper like that he's got to have more than one shot on goal tonight for the Devils to have a chance. That's the thing Kovalchuk and he's a great story because the Kings wanted him two years ago and really tried hard to get him and then New Jersey came in with a huge offer the Kings could not match so this is like the, you know this is the, the money man this is their big guy he's got to come through for him he hasn't done, he hasn't done it all whereas the Kings are a collection of guys that a lot of people haven't heard of that aren't really a lot of high paid players a lot of guys who've been you know rummaging around the league for a while the Kings are a much better story a much more hard-bitten kind of story than this Kovalchuk and all the money and all the you know Zach Parisi and all these big stars here in the Brodeur Kings don't really have that but the Kings have a lot more heart I think right now yeah I mean Jeff Carter said it best yesterday it was just like basically get the puck to the neck because it's hard to beat a, a legend like Marty Brodeur 40 years old we should all be so lucky to be that good at 40 He's unbelievable, isn't he? I mean, he's unbelievable. You see him stacking the pads the other day. It was incredible. That's like old school, old school hockey. I mean, it was really, uh, it was, uh, it was awesome. So, but again, he is 40, and he's got to be wearing down. And Jonathan Quick is in his mid 20s, and he's just getting going. So you got to wonder if Marty's had his last big save here. We'll see you tonight, and you can follow along on ESPNAmerica.com. Thanks for taking the time to join us here, here today, Bill. Awesome. Anytime with you guys. Love you guys. Cheers. Thank you.